sweetheart. We did it. The day has finally come. We waited for years. <laughs> Today cannot be any more perfect. I'm so happy to be here with you, and I simply love being in your presence. You are patient, funny, and kind. And although you are quiet, you have a lot of hidden gifts. I want you to know that I believe in you, and I want to support you. I would choose to let you lead, even if it means sacrificing my family. I want you to know that I will love you for who you are, even if you're imperfect. I promise to always stay together through the hard times. Divorce would not be an option or even be a thought. Thank you so much for loving God and choosing Him and reminding me of Him. Nobody could replace you. I love you, Yang Tao. Hi, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Oh, beautiful. Oh, nice to see you. Sorry, I'm kind of like taller than you. Who are you talking about? My sister. My sister. Wow. Hey, let's go. Wow. Oh, the water fountain's kind of wet though. Yeah, it's kind of wet. I remember the first time I saw you. You stood out from everybody. I love your smile and your friendliness for everyone. It made me want to be close friends with you. But little did I know you liked me too. I'll give the credit to you who first said, I miss you and I love you. I was shocked when you said it because how can a guy like me ever be with you? But then I look at myself in the mirror and I thought, yeah, I do look pretty handsome. But that was years ago. I am now getting old. I'm losing my hair and going bald. I'm fat. I'm not as good looking as before. Your love for me is unconditional. Thank you. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And I look forward to traveling with you. Yeah. 
when it says at the beginning that we're created to reflect and be in the image of God, uh, we are also through this marriage, through your marriage, uh, you are also reflecting the relationship that we will have uh, one day at the end of time here uh, when Christ comes back for his bride, the church. And so as you guys continue to live uh, married to one another, uh, it'll be a testimony of uh, what the future will look like. Uh, what the church, what all of us who believe uh, in Christ uh, will show uh, to other people. And so with all that being said, uh, I just want to encourage you guys to uh, remember uh, where and who you guys uh, or why you guys are, have been brought together uh, to be, uh, to show that it is something that God has done uh, for you guys, uh, but also that you guys will live the rest of your life out as a reminder of God's return for us as the church.